In this session, let's talk about manufacturing within Business One, specifically make to order. Let's generate a sales order for a customer. Microchip's going to select from our mainstream IBM printers, a few of those. They're also going to select a manufactured item. So I'm going to put in some predefined text for this item. Simply going to tell the customer that it's manufactured to their specifications and they can't return it. That item happens to be a Lexmark 4029 printer. It's very easy to make the order within Business One. Simply recall the sales order and click on MTO for make to order. And we're going to generate our production order for this customer, Fred, over at Microchips. At the same time, we're also purchasing direct to this order any materials uh, to be just in time and efficient as possible with our inventory. We're also creating any necessary sub-assemblies related to the, the parent item, the Lexmark 4029 printer. So what you'll see is we're going to have pop up on the screen uh, any necessary purchase orders and production orders that we need to fill this order for the customer. You can see we've created three production orders and two purchase orders. Let's go ahead and drill down to our production order that we've just created. And you can see we've built in some things to help uh, the guys on the floor with their production of this item. And probably the best way to review that is right from the bill of manufacturing itself. Bill of manufacturing because we've included labor and materials. Starting from left to right, you can see we've got our sequence number. The first thing we're going to do is assemble these items here. We've got some colorful graphics to let us know what's happening. This is a labor item, so we're capturing our labor and overhead. These are our green gears for raw materials that we're pulling from the warehouse. This one here is a sub-assembly, the power supply, so it has its own bill of uh, manufacturing. You can see here. Along with that, uh, we've got a subcontracted assembly. We've got a phantom item, which is a component kit that we put together just for this bomb. And then you can see we move into the, the following or subsequent sequences. You can see the hours uh, or units of measure, and hours and eaches and days. We've got our quantity, setup time if necessary, and run time. Over here on the testing, you can see we've got setup on testing. We've got some labor where we actually perform the test or rework if necessary. And then we ship it out the door with a packing nut. Come over here and you'll notice that we have a picture of exactly what we're building. We can make visible out on the shop floor. Same as the work instructions, assemble per drawing. We've also got some media files here, another picture for assembly. You can even embed video files if you'd like for training out on the shop floor, obviously with sound and everything. You can probably hear a little bit of that sound in the background. And then we've got other documents that you can attach as well, attachments for videos, assembly instructions, and so forth. All this information copies right into the production order and goes right down to the shop floor. This is released and so we can go to work on it on the shop floor, report uh, what we've completed and uh, get that out to the customer. The other thing we can do is of course out on the data collection on the shop floor, this is where we would uh, receive our production. We come in and enter in the labor and materials that were used. But we can also come over and do a Kanban receive, where for example, if you're in a repetitive mode for some of these parts, it's very simple to come in and enter that in the system as well. For example, say we build a bunch of these power supplies, select the warehouse where they're going to be received and the quantity. We hit backflash and now just that easily we've come in and generated a receipt from production which is going to show us what uh, was just received there from our repetitive manufacturing. In this case, 200 of those Lexmark uh, 4029 power supplies in the warehouse 01. It's just that easy to generate a sales order for your customer and then also make to that order specific for that customer and track everything associated with that job within SAP Business One.